We are at Sunnybrook Park Campground in Wadena, Minnesota. And this is a campground review. Make sure to stay to the end to find out what our favorite part of this day was. General impressions. This is a nice little campground located next to a good sized park with some basic facilities at a really good price. The cost was $38 per night or $196 per week. We felt like this was a really good price, especially at the weekly rate for full hookups. Campground. Campground has three large rows, all with pull-through sites, and it has some nice trees located throughout the park, but they're not enough to block the night sky. We stayed in campsite number six. It was a grass pull-through, mostly level right to left, not so much front to back. All sites have 50 and 30 amps, so hashtag 50. It has a picnic table and a grill, but no fire ring. There is a community fire ring, though, available for reservation. There is no propane refill here, so you're going to want to fill up those propane tanks before you arrive. They do have a dump station and a water fill station. Both are $5 each for non-campers. Campground does have free Wi-Fi, and it is good enough to do some emailing and maybe some web searching. Starlink and Verizon, however, are really good reception, and you'll be able to stream all your media through them. There is some moderate train noise in this campground. Honk, 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 honk. <laughs> Insert video here. <laughs> <laughs> There's not a lot of road noise, even though we are closely located to a side road, and you can probably see the main road over our shoulders. Amenities. There is a bathhouse with toilets and a shower located at the front of the park. Everything was a bit dated, but definitely clean enough to use. The showers are also available to non-campers for $2 per shower. The dumpsters were easily located next to the bathhouse. They also have a laundry room at the bathhouse as well. It has two washers and two dryers. It was $6 to wash and 50 cents to dry, which honestly is a lot higher than most of the places we've been. There is no pool, but there is a nice playground. Other facilities include Frisbee golf, pavilions for large gatherings, and a zoo? A zoo! What? I mean, they had bison? And deer? Multiple deer. Oh my! <laughs> Dog friendliness. There is no off-leash dog area at the campground, but there's plenty of green space to walk your dog. And there is a pickup station located next to the bathhouse that is fully, fully stocked. stocked. That's the most important part. There's also a bark park located across the street at the other half of the park. Camp store. This will be quick. There is no camp store. There is a super Walmart though, five minutes away, super convenient, and it's actually close enough to where you could even bike if you need to. Camp staff interactions. We had several interactions with both of the camp hosts who were friendly and very nice. They made us feel right at home. Now on to our most favorite part of our campground reviews. The one star reviews from Google and we're gonna confirm or we're gonna bust them. Or we're not this time because there were no one star reviews in this campground. I looked across the internet at all of the re campground review materials I could find and the lowest I could find were like three star reviews. So that's really saying something. It is. Great job, guys. And now we're gonna move to our favorite things. But before we get to that, please make sure to like and subscribe. Subscriptions are free and it really helps our channel to grow. It also makes sure you don't miss another campground review. We'll start off with our negatives and then finish up with the positives. So Mike, what was your least favorite thing about this campground? The train noise. The train honk, noise honk, honk, honk. Honk, 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 was extremely loud. One star. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> you could hear it from inside the RV, and it did take us a night or two to get used to some of the noise at nighttime. But it's not really that intrusive if you get used to it. Yeah. Mine was the bathhouse and the laundry house are a little out of date. They could definitely use some updating. Now, let's switch to the positives. What was your favorite part about this campground? Mine had to be that the campsites were very well maintained. The grass was cut, but everything was really well kept, including the park nearby. Mine was the fact that it was such a cute campground. I love the big park next door, and it was mostly quiet. You also can't beat this campground for the price. So if you like this campground review, or you'd like to see some of our other campground reviews, 
please check them out over here. And you can also check out our vlog to see what fun activities we did while we were here. <coughs> Spoiler, Tambo Trolls. Tambo Trolls. If you want to see some of the trolls, check out our vlog up here. Mm -hmm. You're really close. <laughs>